Welcome back to the Mid-Year Mitch YouTube channel. Today's episode, we're back on the 68 Corvette. We're continuing to tear it down. We're gonna work on the interior and take off some stuff in the engine compartment to get the body ready to pull in the next video to continue its restoration. So be sure to stick around. got the passenger seat out on sill plate and we found a large home of the mouse house i gotta get all that nastiness out here get this carpet out of here because it's well it's burning my eyes oh. don't breathe what's holding you in place i'm afraid to find out oh there's water Does this just pop off? I don't know. Oh, it did. Spare parts. I'm going in. Well, that part came out nice. Cancer in there. So I'm going to continue taking the 68 apart. Then I'm going to start off by taking off the intake and the carbs so we can disconnect some of the wires here, but also I want to get these off to our friends so we can start rebuilding all three of those carbs and getting all this stuff cleaned up. Uh, and then I guess I'll jump into the steering column, clutch linkage. So I got the steering column out. I also unhooked the clutch linkage down here. This bolt here on the rag joint was very difficult to get out. It was seized in place. I couldn't get it. I used heat. I used some juice. It repeated that process over. Tried using the air hammer attachment with, tried using the impact screwdriver, all this stuff, let it sit. Then I just put a big old cheater pipe on the ratchet and I got it to break free. These columns install a lot different than a C2 Corvette. This bracket's actually attached to the column well, there's a separate bracket on the C2 um, that just sits on it. And I didn't know there was a third bolt there. I thought there was only two like in a C2. So turns out you got to remove all the bolts to get the column out. And then this bolts into the firewall where, where a C2 um, just has a plate that goes on the outside of the firewall. So this is actually a lot more securely mounted. Um, so now it's time to work on removing these bumper brackets, I got to cut these guys off because they're pressed up against the body. We can't pick up the body that way. So I removed the rest of the rear bumper brackets and I got to lay in all the rust that fell down. Um, but these things weren't really welded all that well. They did not have hardly any penetration in the welds. They just blasted them on there. Same with these guys. So I'm probably not going to get these ones powder coated because they're going to need to be modified. And I, did, I just need to figure out what's going on here. And these ones are also welded together. Someone did not want any adjustment in these for some reason. And it looks like this one is shinier than this one. And it has nicer looking bolts. So it looks like we had some work done on the quarter panel on this side. This also looks a little bit custom. So we'll just have to figure that out as we go. I'll probably get those ones powder coated. So now i got to clean up my mess. And now it's time to jump into taking off the hard top, cleaning the inside of the car out, getting these storage bins out of here, getting the rest of the carpet out. We can put the hard top back on. We have to remove a battery cable. We need to take apart the column or the console to get to the shifter because it's like a T 
or a bent handle. So it'll be a little tricky to get the body off with that in place. And then we need to remove the emergency brake cable also. Then at that point, I think we're pretty much ready to loosen all the body mounts and pull the body off this thing. See what we got going on in here. Ooh. Oh, those things are just eating up. Oh, the smell is just gonna get worse back here, I can tell. Oh, that's just nasty. We can tell Greg liked the car. There's part of a Christmas tree air freshener. You can tell Greg liked the car because he had so many rags back here, probably for detail in the car. What is that? Some kind of rod back there. What is that? What is this? Is that a jack? I don't know what that is. I don't know, but I think it's this one's not not even hooked up. We're just going to go ahead and delete on these boom booms. Normally I don't mind getting my hands dirty, but this is this is different. This is mouse situation. Let's just get, cut this boom boom out of here. We'll snip this wire. There we go. We're cleaning the car up. Oh, there's Peanut. Yeah. I can guarantee you this is where... A lot of the source of the stink is. That's like glued to the carpet too. There's a there's jack. There's a jack in here. This jack is gigantic. We got it. This is evidence. We gotta review this. I didn't realize it, but there is a jack down in this storage bin down here. So maybe there's a this is a second one? <laughs> Maybe this is the one that he actually used? I don't know. So we got the hard top off, so that way we could open up the deck lid, get the soft top out, clean that off, and then remove the rest of the nasty carpet that was at, back in there. There's just so much stuff on there, including some bones and other nastiness. So uh, we're getting it a little bit cleaner. I still have to vacuum the whole car. And when we pull the body off, we're just gonna have to wash the inside of this several times to try to get rid of the smell. And then the top also is, in decent shape, but the window is very yellow and well, it probably stinks as well. So that's probably gonna need replaced, but uh, she's coming along. Everything else is pretty much taken apart. I had to take apart the entire console and dash area to get down to the shift boot to be able to access the shifter and the shifter handle is welded to the hearse shifter, which some of them are removable. Obviously that one is not. So that's kind of unfortunate. Um, I put it in first gear so when we pick the body up, it won't interfere with the floor as much. I'm just gonna leave it on the transmission. So the inside's mostly done. That's probably where I'm gonna wrap it up. I'm gonna have to put the soft top back, put the hard top back on it, roll the windows up, and just keep that, you know, keep that smell in there. Um, all I have left to do is to remove the rocker panels, and then there is a safety strap that goes between the seat belts that attach it to the frame. Uh, and then all the body mount bolts. But that's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. In the next video, we're gonna be making a body cart for this thing. We're gonna pull the body off, set it on that cart, and then we're gonna start breaking down the frame and all the major components to get this car ready to be restored and hopefully get it on the road very soon. So I got a lot of work to do, and I'll catch you guys later.